Hello, my name is Joel Abava, and I'm the Franchise King. Before we jump into this quick video, I want you to hit subscribe right below, click the bell, and you will get notified every darn time that I publish a new video so you can stay updated on everything franchise. Today, as, as part of creating success for as many people as possible who are looking into buying a franchise, uh, I want to talk about something that comes up a lot during some of my complimentary calls. By the way, I offer complimentary calls for you to ask questions, to share concerns, and, and just as a way of, uh, of helping you become more confident as you go down the path of buying a franchise. Uh, on the form that you fill out to, to, uh, have a, to schedule a complimentary call with me, I ask what it is that you want. And a couple days ago, a gentleman by the name of Barry called, uh, actually fill out the form. And uh, this is the call that I'm going to have with him. He asked about franchise attorneys. So let's go. I'm going to call Barry now. I emailed Barry already. He knows that he'll be uh, his name will be used for this. Barry, hey, hi, it's the franchise king, Joel Ababa. You ready for our call? Fantastic. So you uh, you wrote down on the form that you wanted to know if you really needed to hire a franchise attorney, right? Okay. Um, is there a reason for you asking that specific of a question? It sounds like maybe you're you're down the path already. Okay. All right, so you've been looking at franchises for a couple months. You think you think you found one? Okay, all right. You've done a virtual discovery day, and you think you, you're pretty sure you want to buy the franchise, is what I'm hearing. All right, okay. So, so again, why? I mean, I feel it's really important to to hire a franchise attorney, but why are you asking if you really need to? Ah, okay, okay, Barry. I get this a lot. So let me let me just repeat it so the folks viewing this video uh, can get your side of this. You you're working with the franchise development representative, the salesperson, and um, uh, he wants you to get moving on this thing. You went to Discovery Day. You said you liked it. They sent you the franchise agreement. You have the FDD, and you said okay. Um, you know, give me a week, week and a half, because I want to talk to a franchise attorney, uh, you know, before I move forward. And the franchise salesperson at headquarters said the following. Ah, okay. Uh, how, you know, I mean, you are welcome. Here's what the, what the franchise salesperson said. You are welcome to contact a franchise attorney and pay, but, uh, I mean, it might... I mean, we're not going to change anything in the franchise agreement. So, I mean, I don't know if it'll be money wasted or money well spent, but it's not like we're going to change anything. I mean, every franchise agreement is the same. Okay, so you so you want to know why... Okay. It doesn't matter to me if the franchisor is not going to change one sentence of the franchise agreement that you're going to sign. I don't care. What a franchise attorney's main job, in this case, is, is, is he or she is going to look over the franchise uh, uh, agreement, the franchise disclosure document, the FTD, see if there's any red flags, make sure that um, you know everything there is to know about your liabilities, um, including what you're responsible for as a franchisee and what the franchisor is responsible for as, as the franchisor. I mean, that is really the reason. You want to make sure that you're not going to get screwed, that the, that the franchise agreement is, is fair and as balanced as it can be. Having said that, in some cases, even if the franchisor, in this case, the franchisor sales rep, tells you that nothing is negotiable, nothing's going to be changed, it doesn't mean that nothing's going to be changed because that person is not the CEO. The, he or she has, does not have the final say. And there have been situations where franchise attorneys have been able to change some things favorably for their client, which is you. you know, and, and if you work with me someday, yeah, you're, you're also my client, even though not in a legal way. 
So you must hire a franchise attorney, number one, to protect yourself and your family and your assets. Number two, to find out if there's something that, that could be changed that you can benefit from as a franchisee. It's worth it. And, and the franchise attorney has, has, a good, competent franchise attorney, has read enough FDDs and has looked over enough franchise agreements, has probably written a few himself or herself, to know whether or not there might be a little wiggle room on something. Now, I don't want you to have, right, Barry, but I don't want you to have a false sense of, of um, uh, confidence knowing that something could be changed for sure. It's not, it's not for sure but it's worth a shot. Remember, the number one reason that you do need to hire a franchise attorney and pay whatever it takes to protect yourself is to make sure that you're protected legally. The second reason is to find out if there is a little wiggle room in something and, and also to get the, fr the, the franchise attorney, the franchise lawyer's take on what it is you are about to do. This is a big deal. Buying a franchise is a big deal, Barry. I'm not here to talk you out of it or talk you into it. Um, I just want to make sure that you have all your bases covered, all right? So write a check for that franchise attorney. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I can I can send you the names of a couple of them. Yep, um, that, that's part of what I do. I will refer you to a franchise attorney. Um, if needed, someone that I know, like, and trust, no problem. That's, that's no problem. If you, you know, and if you want to work together and make sure that you haven't missed anything, um, contact me, and I'll leave a link um, to how to work with me below. So I hope things work out, Barry. All right. Bye. That is a typical call that I have with folks that sign up for a complimentary call. Should you hire a franchise attorney? You bet. I don't care what anyone tells you. Hire a franchise attorney. Spend that money. In the future, I'm going to do more calls like this so you can get as many questions answered as possible. I'm the Franchise King, Joel LaBaba. Thank you for watching this video and here's to your success.